Okay, let's continue the story. Wait, am I battling Hopper or Leon? I'm confused. Oh, I think I'm battling Hop. I thought I was battling Leon. I don't know how I misunderstood that. Okay, so let's get this over with. Okay. Let's see exactly what Pokemon he caught and how much he's trained. Because I'm pretty sure that it won't be difficult to beat him at this point, you know. Be surprised. Three Pokemon, okay. Of course, Wooloo, Spore Bunny, and something else. Okay. Level six, no problemo. Water Pulse should probably knock it out. At least in two hits. Or one is what I was betting. Not surprised. Ooh, nice. Level up. Score Bunny's not gonna be a problem. Level 8. That's a real shame. I always overlevel. That's just the way I go. Nice. Of course I know tight matchups. Oh, so he caught a rookie D. That's a shame because I am kind of, um, I'm almost certain that rookie D evolves into Corviknight at some point. I'm not 100%, but that's what I've been hearing and seeing in, in thumbnails. And I really want Corviknight on my team. So I'm gonna be really sad if he has it too because I want it for myself and I'm like, I don't like having the same Pokemon as my rivals, it just feels weird. So I may have to either give up on Corviknight or just accept that we both have one. And that's only if Rookie D evolves into Corviknight, which I'm not 100% on yet. Because I'm playing this spoiler-free, completely blind, no research done. We'll see, we'll see. Because after all, Rook from Rookie D could also refer to a legendary bird called a Rook. It could also refer to a chess piece called a Rook. And Corviknight also refers to Knight. Which is a chess piece, but <laughs> I've been overanalyzing this too much. It's a clever name, though. Hmm. Beating him wasn't hard, but that's only because I overlevel. Okay, so he's endorsing both of us. That's nice. Pretty sure I deserve it more than he does. A letter of endorsement. Nice. I mean, that battle was so one-sided, I don't see how you can call that a proper battle. I one-shot all of his Pokémon. You kind of feel bad about it. Okay. Absolutely. Ah, it's from the trailer. Wow, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Hmm. 
wishing stars? I have no idea what that is. A stone found in the gallery region with a mysterious power. It said that your dreams come true if you find one. Well, ain't that s just sweet. <laughs> with one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. Interesting. No wonder they're key items. Okay, calm down there, Hop. They need to be processed or something, made into items like Mega Stones or, or I don't know. Oh, curry. Everyone loves curry. I love curry too. So I have no idea Wishing Stars is what you call the item that you need to Dynamax. I thought they were called Dynamax Crystals. Or maybe one is like a Keystone, one is like a Mega Stone. We'll find out. Alright, fount of information you are. Okay, she's sarcastic, I like that. Oh, is this what the wishing stars are supposed to look like? A Dynamax band, that makes sense. Just like in the trailers, a wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. My theory was right. Even before the game was released, I made a theory video saying that Pokemon need to Dynamax at a power spot. Because that power spot provides the energy, while the Dynamax band, which I now only find out that it has a wishing star in it, whatever that, I didn't even know what that was, is what focuses that energy. So when you combine, when you combine the wishing star with the power spot, you get the power to Dynamax. And I see the symbol for Dynamaxing looks like an X, but it also looks like a giant from viewed from below. So now we have a Dynamax band straight from the beginning, nice. Ah, I didn't even notice Leon has one. I mean, of course he has one, but I just didn't pay attention to his arm. Oh yeah, there are a number of conditions and I don't know them. Looks like we can now go exploring more. I need to still catch more Pokemon, obviously. One last thing before you race, Chris. I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass? If you move real slow like and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay you any notice. Oh, so that'll help, I guess, if you know you don't want to encounter them. Especially the ones that chase you, those are scary. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Okay. Left stick. Um... Let's try that out. Now I'm gonna catch every Pokemon that I missed out on. So there, I think there's four of them. And one of them is, unfortunately, Magikarp. Okay. Just for the Pokedex. This won't take long.
it is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. That's so sad. Okay, so I found the left stick. You gotta press down. And they do, they do follow you. Wow. That's useful. Okay, let's try that one more time. It seems they have a range limit from their home grass. Now we just have to catch Wooloo, Glitbug, and um, C Dot. Okay, that's the blue bug we're gonna catch. We're gonna find out. Nice. Let's see. Procure bug. Okay, for now. Constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. <laughs> oh man, I love funny Pokedex entries. Okay, let's see more about it. Increased defense over attack. Swarm. Okay. Struggle bug. Okay. Bold. Uh, it's not very strong. But we could level it up. Let's see. We have Sobble, Rookity, Naked, Squavit, Choodle, and Yemper. Now, here's the thing. I really don't want Blip Bug on my team. But I do want to see what it evolves into. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice another Pokemon. Um, and I'm going to choose Choodle. Ah, there's a C Dot. Once we catch this, all we will have left is Wulu until we encounter some new Pokemon. I'm just playing it slow because I'm too busy. Which is a real shame. But filling up the Pokedex actually makes me happy. Slow, steady work. It delights in surprising foraging Pokemon. So I don't think that Squavit eat it. They try to, but then they find out they've made a mistake. Is there anything special about this? Chlorophyll, absorb, relax. Nope. Okay, so he really wants me to go to the station. But I still have some things I need to do. I need to catch a Wulu, and I need to organize my box. I always organize my box in different ways ever since I was little, but this time I think I'm going to organize it by Pokedex number. Where's the Wooloo when you need one? Oh, a Caterpie! How do you know they were in Route 1? I never would have seen it if I hadn't been looking for a Wooloo, which for some reason is not here, so I'm just going to assume Wooloo only appears at certain times of day, like morning. Or maybe night? I don't know. I see them in the background of the game. But right now, it's mid-afternoon. So let's just assume Wulu doesn't appear in Route 1 in mid-afternoon. But I'm gonna find one. I need to complete the Pokedex. So let's just catch a Caterpie. Didn't even consider it. And we're gonna catch a Caterpie now.
That wasn't hard, but we still don't know where Wulu is. Harvest, I'm gonna have to check back another time today. Finally, we just have to be patient. Ah, oh, it's so cute! Yeah, that wasn't hard. Oh, I can't wait for the challenges of the wild area. Still haven't seen those yet. Could fall off a cliff and stand right back up at the bottom unharmed. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Fluffy. Halves the damage taken from moves that make direct contact, but doubles that of fire type moves. Okay. Okay. Not in nature. Hmm. I'm gonna send Wooly to a box. Uh, I think I don't need it on the team at the moment. So if Caterpie was here this whole time and we didn't know about it, then what else are we missing out on? <gasps> that one has yellow aura! Oh. Rubin are here too? Okay. Okay. So I'll just catch it. Okay, we have another Squabbit with Yellow Aura. I wonder what move it knows, but we're gonna have to catch it to find out. Hopefully it's not Last Resort like last time. Okay, let's see. This Squabbit... That was rollout. Okay, so I'm going to assume rollout is the not normally learned egg move, and that's why he had a yellow aura. Because I heard from somewhere that yellow aura is Pokemon with egg moves. Interesting, interesting. We'll just send you to a box. 129W, okay. Whoa! Secret area! I didn't know this was here! A rare candy, nice. Okay. Man, I love finding secret areas with items. It's just so exciting. Okay. It took a long time, but I finally reorganized the box system for myself. Like, this is the first time I've done it, I've done it this specific way. But I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to stuff like this, so yeah. So, our first box is called Inbox. Um, this is basically where Pokemon that overflow from my team will come as soon as I catch them. And then from there, I'll organize them into boxes. So, a lot of random Pokemon will be here as soon as I catch them. Then, every once in a while, I'll come and put them where they belong. So, this is just an inbox. And, of course, there's plenty of room. These two don't belong here. I just forgot to organize them. I'll just do this and put them in the next box, which is labeled special. I labeled it special because it's just a brand sort of box where anything that's unique goes. So these two, for example, had yellow aura. So their yellow aura um, means they have egg moves. So this one knows rollout and this one knows last resort. I'm not gonna use them on my team since I don't feel like it. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to catch a non-egg move squavit because it's gonna go in the 
rest of the boxes. So yeah, after that, we have by Pokedex number 1 through 30, we have Caterpie, Grubbin, Hoot Hoot. 31 through 60, we have Wooloo, C Dot, and um, Choodle. 61 through 90, nothing. 91 through 120, nothing. And then here in 121 through 150, we have Magikarp. And then we go on to 151 through 180, which is as far as it goes for now. As soon as we catch more Pokemon, the boxes will expand and we'll keep going since I don't know the exact amount of Pokemon there are in this game's Pokedex yet. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do a lot of catching, a lot of grinding, a lot of evolving, and a lot of trading to fill up this Pokedex. But I'll save all of the hard stuff for the post-game. Right now, we're going to concentrate on the story, but we're going to catch any Pokemon we see only when the chance arises. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to, probably in between episodes, fill in the Pokedex, and I'm going to leave the episodes to concentrate on the story from now on, since obviously filling up the Pokedex is kind of bland. But on our team, we have Sobble, Rookity, Nicket, Blipbug, and Yamper, although I don't think I, I want Blipbug to stay there, but I think I'll evolve, it just, just because I want to see what's in there. And I'll end the episode there. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friend, checking out and checking out my channel for more videos like this. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.